because we're needling down a bit lower, the sciatic nerve comes into play a little bit more. So with this, what you can actually do is you can sort of grasp the muscle and you can pull it away from the femur, so posteriorly. And it means then you can needle in and tip posteriorly. And we know that that femoral nerve sits close to that femur. Oh, sorry, sciatic nerve sits close to that femur posteriorly there. So it means that we've got it pulled away and we're needling there. The other thing as well is down more distal, the femoral artery cuts through that adductor hiatus and then cuts posterior. So if we're able to pull away and then needle in that direction posteriorly, we're then directing that needle away from the femoral artery as well if it has in fact coursed through um, that adductor hiatus already. So it can be quite tender for people. Again, depending on how deep you need to go, like a 40 or a 50 is probably sort of where you'd be looking. Some people you might need a 75 as well. So there, don't have it really heavily grasped. Just sort of have it held and pulled away gently. But if you've got it really firmly grasped, well, it's painful, but also you're putting tension on, on everything there so the needle won't pass through the tissue quite as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks for putting it up.